Now there is going to be miscommunication. This isn't a, you know a, a forever. It's not like we never miscommunicate. <laughs> Clearly, fairy tale, no, right? we, we're explaining right it's now. It's not a written script where. <laughs> yeah, but the point is, is that when we do, we seek to understand where where is the breakdown coming from. So we sit down and we talk it through, and this is what we we realized is like, oh, it wasn't that I wasn't like I was actively seeking to hear you. I just wasn't putting the dots together in the way that I understood it. And then you said, okay, well, let me. It was as as kind of the sender of that information, you're like, hey, let me take my responsibility and let me lay out exactly where I'm at. And, and then I, I was like, ah, oh, okay, now I get it. It's not, it's not any situation within pickleball, it's just you just don't wanna play and that's perfectly fine. Now I get it. And so now I won't put you in that position because, um, because we both took the time to understand where we were coming from and celebrated that and that you don't have to do or be exactly the way I am and vice versa. And, and that's, I think there's a lot of unfair expectation placed in relationships on that. And then there's a lot of unspoken, you know, problems that, that arise from that. And so, you know, it may seem like one-off little comments here and there, but the problem is over decades, that builds up, that weighs you down. And then it just feels like you're just getting slammed by all of this stuff. And it's like, no wonder people feel crushed or or like they're not being heard right and so so we do understand that it's it's it can feel this way and so the problem is is that when we when we get to that point then it's like how do we how do we move beyond that when we feel like we've expressed everything but maybe the reality is is that we just haven't yet yes and it's really challenging to know if you have or you haven't right when you feel like, oh, I've communicated over and over and they're just not listening, right? And I have felt that way in relationships. But now that I have time and space between that relationship and I've learned a lot about myself through that process, I can honestly say part of it was that I didn't know how to effectively express it either. And I've learned through my own inward study how to more effectively explain what I'm feeling. And that's a huge part of it. When I anticipate that somebody else should understand what I'm feeling because I've explained my side of it, but I have neglected to explain the feelings side of it. I've explained the circumstance and I've explained everything that led up to the circumstance, but I don't explain not only the feeling, like it makes me feel this way, but why that circumstance and everything that led up to that circumstance makes me feel this way, then there's still a breakdown, right? And so what I've learned to do in relationships, all my relationships, is start with that why it makes me feel this way before I get into any of the other stuff. Because as people, most of the time, we can take on just about anything if we understand the why, right? So starting with the why, even if it's, hey, I have some baggage in this area. Quite frankly, I come to the table carrying a whole tote of baggage in this one specific space. And so it makes me feel this way when this situation arises and your response is this. Now, often that means it has nothing to do with you. But as my partner, you may desire to, oh, well, I, if I know she's tugging around all this baggage and I can change one little thing this way to help her not have that response, I'll gladly do that. But maybe there's nothing you can do at all and it just helps you understand the why when suddenly I respond in that way. 